Let's talk about Rivian as price finds itself back at this resistance support level at $15, which has worked out in the past. Kind of zooming out, big picture. This is the monthly chart. And this is that $15 resistance support level that we were referring to on the daily chart. You could also see on the monthly chart you have resistance at $24 and then support resistance at $28. And again for the week ending today, uh, this week's candle is a doji candle. More likely it's going to finish red for other reasons, a la Tesla, to name one. And before we continue with the analysis, let's look at this article. So Rivian is looking to challenge Tesla, Ford, and GM with its adventured style EVs. Rivian stock surged 40% in December. However, to begin the year, prices falling 32%. Rivian ended 2023 on a high note as interest in electric pickup trucks appear to be picking up following the initial deliveries of the Tesla Cybertruck. At the end of December, Bard even designated Rivian as a best idea for 2024. On January 17th, Deutsche Bank downgraded Rivian to a hold rating from a buy and cut its price target to $19 from 29 the firm sees downside to the company's 2024 volume and margin outlook, expecting volume guidance of 65,000 units. And then on January 2nd, you had Rivian topping its own 2023 vehicle production forecast, but the EV maker fell slightly short of Wall Street predictions for deliveries. Then you had some news in December. AT&T announced that starting in 2024, it will begin piloting Rivian vehicles in its fleet. AT&T expects to begin adding the Rivian commercial van and R1 vehicles to its fleet in 2024. It is unclear how many Rivian vehicles at and will order, but don't worry, Amazon's going to pick up that slack. Rivian has announced during its third quarter earnings it would allow more customers beyond Amazon, which remains a key buyer to purchase its commercial electric vans. Rivian surprised Wall Street on November 7th, reporting better than expected third quarter revenue and rising its EV production guidance for the full year. Rivian is not likely to be profitable for a while as it continues to ramp up production after third quarter earnings. A number of firms lowered Rivian's price targets. However, Goldman Sachs raised its price target to 25 from 23, writing it could be more positive on the stock if it gained more conviction around Rivian's path to profitability so there's a lot of things going great for Rivian however they're not out the mud yet and Tesla earnings recently doesn't help the cause but I, I do think Rivian will be one that that will come out on the other side unlike some others and so where do we go from here now if price is going to go higher we need to take out the $17 level. More specifically, I'm talking about this candle price action that occurred last week into this week. All right, so this is your immediate test. Again, if price is going to go higher, you get a close above 17, you have a gap fill at 17.75 if you want confirmation that price is going to head higher really need to see a break of that downtrend line you get a break and a close above and on decent volume like we had back in December that would be confluence and conviction that price potentially is heading higher. Look for your next target to come in whenever we do get the reversal again to come in at that resistance level at $24.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.